What would make you happy coming out of my mouth right now? I'm genuinely curious. I'm not, I'm perfectly happy with everything that's coming okay. out of my mouth and I like that we spent this time together. Okay, you yeah. seem a little, I mean, I think, um, you know, my opinions are very strong and I think sometimes because That I'm is coming on, across, I do want you to know that. You were uh, very vocal about some of her tweets. Uh, people were upset, thought it was uh, anti-Semitic language. She has since uh, unequivocally apologized for them. And then after that, uh, there was this tragic synagogue shooting in California, and you once again sort of, on a Sunday show, a uh, Sunday news show, uh, brought up her tweets again in the context of that shooting. I do think when we're having conversations about anti-Semitism, we should be looking at the most extreme on both sides. And I would bring up Congresswoman Ilhan Omar and some of her comments that got so much attention. And in my opinion, Nancy Pelosi wasn't hard enough in her response to her, you know, trafficking in anti-Semitic language, talking about all about the Benjen Benjamins and how uh, Jewish people had hypnotized the world. I think that I'm calling out what I see as anti-Semitic language. And when you're talking about But even um, after, you called it out after she apologized for it. I do want to establish um, the timeline. I stand by every single thing I've said, and if that makes me unpopular in this room or in front of you, so be it. Um, well, I don't. <laughs> See, that's a weird thing that you would take the position of trying to be unpopular. Here I am trying to, you know, find the common ground on this when we talk about the idea of, like, let's all try to meet in the middle on things. We have to listen to other people's perspective. And Oh, I agree. I work on The View with Joy yeah, Behar yeah, every yeah. day. I listen to other perspectives Is all day Is there a way for people to talk about uh, differences in Israeli policy without getting framed as anti-Semitic language? Yeah, I just think you can't talk about uh, Jews hypnotizing the world, talking about all about the you Benjamins. You keep bringing up the two tweets that she's apologized for, and I think that's a little unfair to her, especially because we've <laughs> Are established... Are you a publicist? What? Are you her press person? No, I'm just someone who, who cares about the fact that there's someone out there who is uh, in a minority, who has had death threats against her, and I think that we should all use the same language that you're asking her to be careful about her language, and I, I would ask everybody else to be careful about theirs.